These women grew up reading Judy Bloom. Please welcome actresses Rachel Drash and Martha Plimpton, authors Elna Baker and Amy Sohn, and Pulitzer Prize winning author of The Brief Wondrous Life of Oscar Wilde, Juno Diaz. Jim. Once a month, we're going to have a discussion group with Mrs. Rappaport. It sounds very interesting because Mrs. Rappaport asks us each to write down a question and drop it into a box on her desk. The question could be about anything, she said, especially anything we need to know about sex. She told us not to put our names on the paper. She doesn't want to know who's asking what. It's a good thing, too, because I'd never have asked my question if I had to sign my name. I wrote, do normal people touch their bodies before they go to sleep, and is it all right to do that? On Tuesday, when we walked into the gym, Mrs. Rappaport told us to sit in a circle so we could talk easily. Then she pulled a question out of the box. Here's an interesting question. Do normal people touch their bodies before they go to sleep, and is it all right to do that? I almost died. <laughs> I glanced around, then smiled a little, because some of the other girls did, and I hoped the expression on my face looked like I was trying to figure out who would ask such a thing. Can anyone help us with an answer? I wasn't the one who wrote the question, but I've heard that boys who touch themselves too much can go blind, or can get very bad pimples, or their bodies can even grow deformed. <laughs> Has anyone else heard that? Five other girls raised their hands. I felt my face get hot and I had to go to the bathroom in the worst way, but I didn't move a muscle. I hope nobody could tell what I was thinking. Well, I can see you've got a lot of misinformation. Does anyone here know the word for stimulating our genitals? Because that's what we're talking about, you know. It got very quiet in the gym. Nobody said anything for a long time. Then someone called out That's right. And it's not a word you should be afraid of. Let's all say it together. <laughs> Masturbation. Masturbation. Very good. Now that you've said it, let me try to explain. First of all, it's normal and harmless to masturbate. You mean for boys? No, I mean for anyone, male or female. The myths that some of you have heard aren't true. Masturbation can't make you insane or deformed or even give you acne. I wanted to take a deep breath when she said that, but I didn't. I just gulped and looked at the floor. Does everybody masturbate? Not necessarily, but it's very common for girls as well as boys, beginning with adolescence. Any minute, I thought Mrs. Rappaport would ask us to raise our hands if we masturbate. And I, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to tell the truth. I never knew there was a name for what I do. I. I just thought it was my own good feeling. Now I wonder if all my friends have special places and if they do it too. Where is Jeannie's special place? <laughs> then someone else said. Here it is, I found it. <laughs> it's right here on your side. I've been rubbing it for two weeks and I'm waiting. It's it's uh it's gonna happen soon, I know. <laughs> Dear Judy, I'm Jennifer and I am 13. I read your book, Dini. You wouldn't believe how happy I was to know I'm not the only person to do what Dini does. So could you please Answer my questions. One, how did you find out about this? <laughs> Two, how did I know how to start doing this? Three, how many other letters have you received 
saying people do this, if any? And four, is it a kind of disease? <laughs> Dear Judy, our names are Vanessa, Kate, and Jenny. We are seventh graders. We've heard that a lot of your books have been banned in some places around the U.S., and we strongly disagree. We feel your books talk about reality, and if people think that reality should be banned, they have a serious problem. <laughs> we have done some research on your banned books and have been astounded at the reasons they were banned. Here are some comments we've read. For Dini, the vilest sexual descriptions and if given to the wrong child at the wrong time, it would ruin his life. <laughs> well, first of all, that is so sexist, saying his life. <laughs> Second, none of us can find any vile sexual anything anywhere in it. And believe us, we've tried. <laughs> Judy Bloom, I would like to ask you, what is the name of the brain disease you have that makes you think this way? It is obvious that you are a deranged, unstable woman. Are you insane, <laughs> stupid, or just plain evil? God will deal with you later, and that will be for an eternity. Do you think you will like spending an eternity in hell? You probably don't believe in hell. What a rude awakening you will have when you die. And that won't be too far down the road by the looks of the picture on your website. <laughs> <laughs>